Lesson 12.3c, Finding the Distance Between Two Points. The Pythagorean theorem can be used to find the distance between two points in a real-world situation. We can do this by using a coordinate grid that overlays a diagram of the real-world situation. For overlays, it just means to draw a coordinate grid on top of the drawing. We can also use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. A quick reminder, we learned how to use the Pythagorean theorem in videos 12.1b and 12.3a. There actually were more videos, but those are the two main ones. We learned about the distance formula in 12.3b, the video before this one. And those videos are going to be linked in the description of this video if you've missed them or forgotten them. Let's take a look at this diagram first. We have a couple of trees. We've got a lake. We can see there's a beach here. This is Sam's house. And we have a third point over here. It says Sam wants to find the distance from his house on one side of the lake to the beach on the other side. He marks off a third point forming a right triangle. The distances in the diagram are measured in yards. We use the Pythagorean theorem to find the straight line distance across the lake from Sam's house to the beach. For step one, we find the length of the horizontal leg as the difference between the absolute value of the x-coordinates for the third point and for Sam's house. We have the x values of 280 and 10. We subtract them to find their absolute value, that is 270 yards. Now we take the absolute value because lengths can only be positive numbers. So we could do the absolute value of 10 minus 280, which is a negative 270, but the absolute value of negative 270 would be a positive 270. Step two, we find the length of the vertical leg as the difference between the absolute value of the y coordinates for the beach to the third point. So we have 164 and 20. We subtract them, find the absolute value, and that's 144 yards. Now if you're a little rusty about absolute value or you don't know, I'm going to have links to 7th grade math 3.3d and 6th grade math 14.1b that explains absolute value with distances. Step 3. We let A equal 270 and B equal 144. So remember, we got the 270 from doing the absolute value of the difference between the x coordinates. We got the 144 from doing the absolute value difference between the y coordinates. We're going to let C equal the length of the hypotenuse as the distance across the lake from Sam's house to the beach. Now we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value for C. We have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Well, for a, we've got 270 squared plus b, 144 squared, is going to equal c squared. Now we simplify. 270 times 270 is 72,900. 144 times 144 is 20,736. They're equal to c squared. We add these together, and we get 93,636 is equal to c squared. We take the square of both sides. We re By removing this two exponent and putting a radical sign around the 93,636, and it's set to equal c now because we've removed that two exponent. We find the square root of 93,636. On a calculator, we hit the square root symbol, 9, 3, 6, 3, 6, and equal. The distance from Sam's house to the beach is 306 yards. We can use the distance formula to find the distance from Sam's house to the beach across the lake. We use the ordered pairs from the location of Sam's house, 10 for x, 20 for y, and the ordered pairs for the beach, 280 for x, 164 for y, we substitute the values into the distance formula as x sub 1 is 10, y sub 1 is 20, and x sub 2 is 280, and y sub 2 is 164. We substitute those values into the distance formula, and we have 
distance is equal to the square root of 280 minus 10 squared plus 164 minus 20 squared. We subtract within the parentheses and we get 270 squared plus 144 squared under the radical sign. Now we simplify these by multiplying. 270 times 270 is 72,900. 144 times 144 is 20,736. We add them together and get 93,636. Now we find the square root of 93,636, and we know that D, the distance, is equal to 306. And since the measure was given as yards, the distance is 306 yards. We're finished with Module 12. Moving on to Module 13, we're going to talk about the volume of a cylinder. We're going to be modeling the volume of a cylinder next. Keep doing your best. I'm proud of you for watching math videos and join me for Module 13. Bye.